Are you ready? Sit down, turn off the TV, and get ready to laugh your ass off. Because it's time for the Same Sex Dialogue Podcast, where you'll hear the most entertaining discussions about gay topics, current events, and news. Now, here are your hosts, K-Town and the super sexy fashionista, Kim Style. Hey there, it's Kim Style. <laughs> Happy Fourth of July! Yeah, absolutely. Happy Fourth of July, <laughs> our Independence Day. K Town, K Town. I'm um, excited that we get to do another show because we released the other one like um, the other day, <laughs> uh, two days, less than two days ago, actually. <laughs> but this show is going to be good. This is where Kim and I really are in our element. That's right. We love shows like this. Uh, we're going to be talking about <laughs> lesbian sex. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're in our element. <laughs> <laughs> Among other things. So, <laughs> All right. So first of all, I want to tell everybody happy 4th of July. Yeah. And um we aren't really planning on doing anything too much, are we, babe? Well, we're feeding our face for, sh- for sure <laughs> and getting back on our diet tomorrow because I made some yummy food. I've been cooking for three days. Yes. You know, I've been in heaven cooking. And um, so we have food waiting on us for after the show. Yeah. We're going to pig out. And I have a big firecracker ready, too. What? <laughs> you remember that firecracker that's huge and I wanted to light it actually when we lived over in the other uh, condo. Did I throw it away? <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, wait. wait, a minute, wait, no, wait no, 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 no. What, what's the temperature like? Wait a minute, did you there? throw it away? I don't know. Did you, honey? Uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> that's a yes. I'm going to have to go buy another Happy Fourth of July, y'all. Uh-uh, no, no. <laughs> anyway, I'll find out about that later. I want to tell you guys that uh, we greatly appreciate um, our following. It's growing um, more and more every week. Um, everybody's been interacting with us on Twitter and Facebook. Um, we do appreciate the kind uh, little comments and the retweets and things like that. If you haven't already, please visit us on Twitter. Uh, it's at Same Sex Dialogue, of course. And then our Facebook, just type in Same Sex Dialogue. Go over there and like our page and share it and invite others to do that as well. Um, and then I also want to uh, just uh, tell you guys, please visit our website. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the very best place actually to hear uh, the best audio and the way we intended for it to be presented to you sometimes it's decoded when you listen to it on other websites but if you go to our website it's going to be crystal clear and um, you know catch our shows from there so now (laughs) it's time for some chit chat (laughs) well can I start off by saying I cannot freaking wait till um, Housewives of New Jersey. I know, you oh, I've been watching that. the previews and Teresa. Oh my goodness! Oh my god, it's so juicy. That show is so juicy. Is it juicy? It's it's the best of all Housewives. Teresa brings the drama, right? And her sister in law, and with uh, you know, what's his name, uh, Joe Gorda, that I always compare you to. Yeah. He always has his hands all over his wife, and yes. you always have your hands all over me. <laughs> I always say, that's you, honey. That's you. I always want to sex me up somehow, some way. I always trying to get to my pink parts. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Will you she, please he's, quit? He's over his wife like you're over me all the time. I can't help it, honey. I'm not complaining, by the way. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what I love. Um, you know, back in the day... Uh, I don't even know if it's on or not, but I used to watch, you know, Jerry Springer. Everybody knows Jerry Springer. Oh, good Lord. (laughs) You and I used to joke about Jerry Springer Mm -hmm. all the time, didn't we, baby? Yeah. You slept with my man again? Mama! (laughs) 
<laughs> or you are a hoer. H O O R E. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> I can't believe we watched that trash, but oh my God, how entertaining. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, that was funny. He's so totally, he's so totally on? spelled whore wrong. H O O R E. Well, it's probably still on because the people that watch that usually are home to watch it during the day. Yeah, but yeah. Anywho. <laughs> oh. oh, but um, we have uh, some things. Well, one big thing we want to talk about, and it's going on in the news now. So let's see what's going on over there. All right. So for the news, Christian Mingle. (laughs) ChristianMingle.com. Which everybody's familiar with. Uh, Christian Mingle has uh, been forced (laughs) to admit there are gay Christians looking for love, right? So uh, this was actually reported by The Advocate, and we love The Advocate. Yes, we do. (laughs) So nearly three years after two gay men filed a class action lawsuit against Christian dating website, ChristianMingle.com, the Los Angeles-based company has agreed to let its members seek out same-sex partners, uh, reports the Wall Street Journal. Mm. Although a California judge determined the site straight only formatting violated states civil rights act which prohibits discrimination based on sexual orientation the company behind christian mingle did not admit any wrongdoing the judgment finalized monday by judge jane l johnson of the superior court of california in los angeles county ordered sparks networks to do away with settings on all its sites that allow users to select man seeking woman or vice versa Mm, or vice versa (laughs) you know what that's sad there's a lot of gay christians out there right why do we have to well it's 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 just nest some companies just have to learn the hard way it seems like they would have learned from the other website that actually went through the same the same thing Mm -hmm. it was what's the other website that is um Oh, match. Uh, is it? No, it's not match. It's har- something. E-harmony. E-harmony. That exactly will not right. Take LGBTQ. Well, they do. They do now. They, they did, do. You know, they, they were sued as well. OK. So as they um, should be. Yes. And so I can't believe Christian Mingle had to follow in their footsteps. I mean, yeah. but, you know, there's a lot of people that love Jesus Christ Superstar. Well, you and right. I, are, <laughs> you and I are two of them. Right, right. And you know, I remember one time when I went to a church of a, um, it was called I can't remember actually what it was called. Something love, of course, because it was there was a lesbian minister, and I, I went a couple times. It was very close to my. Um, where I lived at the time and um, a a friend of a friend was a minister there so I was invited right and I went a couple times and the mother of the minister was there and she sat and she cried the whole sermon and afterwards it was like why are you so upset she goes it makes me so sad that you all love Jesus so much but you have to worship separately because right. they were not accepted in different churches. Okay. Now this okay. is 15 years ago, maybe different now. Hopefully it is, but you know, it's just sad. It is. It's just sad. It is. This is a victory though. You know? Yeah, it is. Um, I'm glad to see it happen. Uh, and, uh, we were so happy to report. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> speaking right. of, speaking of suing, what? did you see the article where the cup, the lesbian couple, were I uh, see they were arrested for holding hands. Okay, I saw this in the Huff Post. They were arrested for holding hands, and they since sued for being arrested, and they won, uh-huh. and they got eighty thousand dollars. I'm going to be holding your hand everywhere <laughs> we go, <laughs> and I dare somebody to arrest us because <laughs> I'm going to get double that. <laughs> Oh, unbelievable. Oh. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable. Something's wrong with you. You know, <laughs> I'll even kiss. <laughs> Hell, I'll do more than that. You know me. <laughs> All right, babe. I think you have a Kim query, don't you? I do. All right. So let's hear that Kim query. Did you like that music? <laughs> no, that's not me at all. <laughs> but I do have a Kim query, so we'll change it up next time. <laughs> this Kim query is from Shay Miller from London, England. All right. All right. It, it reads, Kim query, my girlfriend and I have a friend that is always flirting with my girlfriend. Girl, I don't call those friends. I call those frenemies. Those are frenemies. And my girlfriend is definitely her type. And I feel as though she crosses the line sometimes. Any advice? Hmm. Oh, girl, do I have you some advice today? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, as a matter of fact. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> You putting your champagne down? <laughs> no, I need a drink. I need a sip. Hold up. So, girl, don't ever put up with that mess. Because crossing the line with your relationship, number one, is not good. Right. And if she says she's your friend, she isn't. She isn't. I will emphasize. Funny story. What? You know what? I had this happen to me in a relationship. As a matter of fact, the relationship I was in before you, K-Tam. Okay. And I know you would never put up with this mess. All right, babe. Let's hear it. Okay. There was a, a girl that called herself my friend. Okay. However, I found out later she was my friend to get to my partner at the time. Okay. She was also feminine. She was a manipulator at best. Um. She had the, not just a crush. I mean, everybody around me said she's in love with your girlfriend. I'm like, now you can have her. <laughs> she's available. <laughs> Go get her. Um, because you know why? Because she allowed this mess to happen. Right. Even though I tried to tell her, tried to tell her, tried to tell her, she's in love with you, she has a crush on you, whatever. But funny story, how I got some satisfaction. Mm-hmm. Um you know, gratification Mm -hmm. from, (laughs) we were all at a cookout in that. It was probably 4th of July, as a matter of fact. Okay. It was around that time. Mm -hmm. And we were all there and we were all, you know, having a good time. And, you know, she made her way to sit next to my partner in between her and me, not you know, you would never let a female sit between us. No, hell no. Hell no, no, no. M- no. MF no. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it happened all the time. I was used to it. But people will do what you allow them That's to right. do. That's right. Absolutely, B. Can I just say that? Well, <laughs> the host of the party was very heavy set. Uh-huh. And she must have been menopausal because she was sweating. We were all sweating, but this one was sweating profusely. Okay? (laughs) And she took the roll of paper towels and was the host that was sweating profusely. Took the paper towels and was blotting the sweat from her face and from her chest and from her neck and from her hair and from between her legs and from, you know, the crack of her ass. And if she had sweat, she was soaking it up with a roll, a whole roll of paper towels. Right, right. Well, the girl that was my frenemy, quote unquote, Uh looked at me and said, I would hate to need a paper towel at the moment. Well, (laughs) <laughs> oh, with me being the girl that I am. What happened? Really? I said, hey. I yelled, you know, to the hostess, and I said, um, my friend of me here needs a paper towel. Well, she ran over, and she took paper towels from the roll that she had sopped up her sweat from and gave it to her. <laughs> that was... And was wiping her face with it. I mean, it was sopping <laughs> wet with her sweat. And that was the most gratifying moment 
I think I ever had, especially in that specific relationship. That's funny. That is funny. I think I walked away that moment just with... Felt like you you won an Academy Award. Yeah. (laughs) I did. I did. Oh, but back to your question. Don't put up with that mess ever. But if you can get some gratification, do so. Because it feels good, girl. It feels good, Shay. Do it. End of Kim Query. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are crazy. You know what? I am. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's get. Can on. I say one more thing? Yes. You know what? As a girl and a female, I could have done worse things. Yeah. Because I know there are people that are very vindictive out there. I mm-hmm. don't have that. It's not my nature. Mm-hmm. But that moment was uh, epic for me. It sounds like it. It was. That wasn't epic. I know. I have never have to deal with that mess with you. Thank God. No, you wouldn't. Not at all, baby. Thank you for that, baby. All right. So let's go ahead and get on with our show. All right. So today's show is about 12 totally candid answers to your questions about lesbian sex. Because <laughs> when it comes to lesbian sex, a lot of people have lots of questions <laughs> about what really goes on under the sheets <laughs> or on top of the kitchen table <laughs> or in the back seat of an Uber. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to need a cigarette after this show <laughs> or something else. Our K-Town. neighbors will too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um so like every other kind of sex, there's no such thing as one size fits all kind That's of right. approach, right? That's right. To lesbian sex anyway. Um and we're gonna be talking about some of these things that you know, we do. Yeah. We seem to pop up and cause confusion this more often explicit. than others. This is explicit if you yep. don't hear it. Yeah. If you're under 18, don't listen. Uh, all right. All right. So when two women, when it's two women together, rather, is it really sex? You know what? That question just pisses me off. Honestly, it, it just does pisses right. me off. <laughs> is it sex? What is sex? Is it really sex? Yes. Yes. It's really right. sex. It is. And so... Um, Lesbian sex is about intimacy and pleasure. Right. You know, I mean, we talked about this one time about uh, the oxytocin and how two women together, it's, it's more intimate than a guy and a girl because the female has more oxytocin right let's let's tackle the first thing okay um the first thing is are there specific things that all lesbians do in the bed oh my gosh okay <laughs> all right i don't know about you but <laughs> you mean you don't know what? every no i do know about you but every relationship i've been in it's been different has it yeah it's been different Oh, you, oh yeah. I want to hear this. No, no, no. no. Some things I don't know, honey. <laughs> and you want to find out on show. air. Really? <laughs> Pause. Oh, hold on a minute. I really love it. <laughs> hold on a minute. Okay. What do you mean it's been different? Let's talk about this. What do you mean? Like, tell me, honey. <laughs> different styles. Oh, different styles. Yeah. Okay. It's just, it's different um, with different people. Not everyone is, is you know like you right so it's not not just i cannot stand when somebody says scissoring oh yeah ain't no damn scissoring going (laughs) (laughs) but you know yes i can i can um relate to that everybody's different Mm -hmm. um there are an infinite number of ways that lesbians have sex right right and so it's not just, you know, the strap-ons and and going down on each other. Right. Things like that. Right. It's probably a combination of some of that. <laughs> However, uh-huh. yeah, uh, there are so many different uh, types of lesbians. Also, you right. have your, your studs, your fems, your tweeners, your butch, your fems, and... 
some butchers like things that studs don't like. Right. And you and I talked about that a little yes, bit. Yes, yes. I have so, say that. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish. Well, that's how manly you are. Right. Like a lot of manly lesbians don't like insertion. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, you know, and you know, I love it. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. But they're... I don't know how to say that. I mean, how explicit what do you mean? can you get? S- you didn't say that right. You said there's a lot of manly women that don't like insertion. Right. Never mind. I- <laughs> <laughs> how is that wrong? Know, never mind. <laughs> how is that wrong? Never mind, honey. You're right. You're right. You yeah. know what? As a matter of fact, I have known in my lifetime uh, some really manly women that don't allow... Uh, their girlfriends to touch them at all, which I don't understand that. I mean, I'm I'm like, you know, we've had this conversation, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm mm-hmm. to me, I'm thinking, you know, you, you your your needs have to be met too, right? They have to be right in some kind of way. But I think to um, you know, without embarrassing them or um, you know getting too much in their business in my mind I was thinking maybe they're just not comfortable with their bodies and they just don't want their girlfriends to see them or something I don't know what's going on there but I'm telling you I have known you know lesbians the butch ones the real manly ones that do not allow their girlfriends to touch them at all and I I don't understand that but it does happen um now, I want to tell people and clarify something up right now mm-hmm. <laughs> that that stuff you see in porn videos and stuff oh. is not real. <laughs> Can we talk about pornography just for a that moment? That is not real. Yes, honey. That's yes. the most unreal type of sex that lesbians I've ever have. seen. They're fake lesbians. Yeah. They're fesbians. <laughs> <laughs> They're fesbians. You and I have just really uh had a heyday watching some of it it's yeah, even though we love it and it is uh a turn off <laughs> yes i watch porn thank you so much it's not real it's it's not yeah. real i can tell you that yeah you know what i hate i hate it when people ask me don't you miss the penis <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what? Um, how do you explain that? Because, well, you have ten penises on the end of your hand. <laughs> and that's a good perk that you have here. And it's, uh, fingers are far more agile than a penis. And there are a zillion toys out there that help the cause so we do just fine without it thank you very much (laughs) (laughs) all right (laughs) um what about this is one of you the guy in the bed uh you are (laughs) you are definitely i agree manly in the bedroom i am you take total control you know what i have control over everything in the house except Mm -hmm. for the bed yes uh, and I, that's why I know. Wait, I wait, to- wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, oh, hold on. Yeah, uh-uh. Say that no, again. No, no, no. I have total control over everything in the house except for in the bed. And that's where you come in. <laughs> Thank you, <Kim. laughs> You know what I'm talking about. I have the kitchen the way I want. I have the living room, dining room. Mm. I have everything the way I want. I get to decorate how I want. I get to cook what I want. <laughs> I make y'all clean when I want y'all to clean. I see. I saw but I when my... it's come when it comes to the bedroom, uh-huh. I am totally submissive. Right? I'm gonna stop this is podcast. <laughs> you need a cigarette about now yes. about right now. <laughs> yes. And and that's true. But you know what? Now the article says no no a thousand times no. Penetration is not the key to female orgasm. I, do you agree with that? I don't. I know you don't. I don't agree why. with Go that. Ahead. Go ahead. But, well, why don't you agree with it? I definitely love a combination of both. Because until I met you, I was never able to um, 
orgasm. Mm-hmm. Can I say that? Yes. Uh, uh, the through penetration, right? And on on the inside and outside until you. Right. Okay. I don't agree with that part of the article, but you know, true. It's not the single most important thing to. Uh, a female orgasm, right? You, right. It's absolutely, not. absolutely. It's. Uh, I think it's the closeness and the intimacy that two women share. Right. That is the best part of that. And ultimately, sex is driven by the brain, right? Mm-hmm. Your thoughts. Mm-hmm. If your brain and your 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 mind rather is not there, right? Nothing's going to work for you. I th- I think that's the difference in a guy and a girl, because guys. They they don't think with their brain and their heart. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> not they, always. They no. think with something else. <laughs> but girls, it's their their heart. Their right. you know. Anyway, is <laughs> one of you always the aggressor in bed? I'm going to let you ask, answer this, K Town. I'm absolutely the aggressor. In always bed. in and out of the bed. <laughs> You're always pawing on me. You're always trying to get me upstairs in the bedroom. <laughs> and you are the aggressor in bed. Well, and I agree. And this article, it says not necessarily. Every relationship and every rendezvous is different. I do agree with that. Everybody's different in, mm-hmm. that, in that respect. So the kind of les- lesbian sex that some people enjoy is the kind that they like to call switch play. And I'm sure that some people, because you have those uh, double header dildo things, right. people do uh, switch uh-huh. and they do, they are with partners that, but they both like uh, insertion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, whatever works for you and your partner, but find someone that likes what you like to give. Right. And that's, that's why the key. you and I work so well together. You like what I give, which is my heels behind my head, <laughs> <laughs> my six inch stilettos, you know, around my neck. And <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, all right. So look at this right oh, here. This is funny. There's no way queer women like giving blowjobs, right? I know. I, well, okay. Here we go back to. I know you're never going to do that. Where right. I'm never going to strap up. Right. Where you're going to always strap up, and I'm always going to blow it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! This is crazy. <laughs> I need a cigarette now, please. Thank you. (laughs) All right. So here's a good one. Here is a good one right here. Wait, you're just going to skip right over that one. (laughs) I'm ready to keep going. We might not make it through this podcast. Okay. okay. (laughs) We may have to pause and continue later. (laughs) All right. So do queer women have threesomes? Hmm. Yes. I I can go ahead and tell you yes. Yes. But I can go ahead and tell you, this lesbian couple ain't going to, and I said ain't for emphasis. Uh, general, generally, when you hear the word threesome, you rarely picture it involving three women. Lesbians have a bad rep for being super jealous and emotional wrecks. Like you and me. <laughs> <laughs> but some of us actually like uh, to switch things up in the bed. So I have known numerous lesbian couples to have threesomes and you know hmm. straight couples do it too if if they can with a lesbian (laughs) yeah yes with a lesbian with a lesbian (laughs) i'm just not about to share you know because i know if we had a threesome Uh it'd more likely be another feminine woman Uh uh-huh and i ain't fitting to do that But let's let's just talk about for a minute. Let's talk about why that is why we couldn't do it. Because I'm jealous AF. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you pleasuring and having the intimacy with another female like you right. do with me. Right. And to me, I think if you are truly mm-hmm. and madly, deeply in love with someone, mm-hmm. I don't know how you could share no, your you partner. Do that anyway. Could you? <laughs> No, honey. even with a feminine woman, even with a feminine woman, 
I love you, and our marriage means more to me than anything. And I just no, no. When you're single, oh, wait, 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 when up. you're single. Uh, singles different yeah, story. Yeah, when you're single and but, or, or if you're before you're married and you have uh, look in marriage, no, I don't believe in that at all. What if all. I suggested it? What if no, I said, no, "Honey, no. I've met this mm-hmm. really beautiful, feminine, sexy, dark-haired, uh-huh. green-eyed, like you like, <laughs> woman, uh-huh. little pretty feet, uh-huh. and I'm going to bring her home in our bed." No. You would still say no. Yes, I'll say no, yes. That's why I married you. I still say no. Because <laughs> you're so loyal. No. no way, no way. But I just, it, in marriages, I don't think it's no place for that. To me, in marriage, I'm just straight up believe that it should be us and that's it. You know, mm-hmm. we. But, it, you know, when, when you're not married, and even if married couples want to do that, more power to them. If that's mm-hmm. what they want to do and need to do, fine. But yeah, I just I just wouldn't do it. Well, I will tell you, this is Kim Sal here talking. Mm-hmm. I have been seen in the past, yet I have never had a threesome. You've been approached about sixty million times in your every, life. Almost every time I went to a gay club, you know, there was some weird straight couple <laughs> <laughs> up in the club. You know, want me to have a threesome with them? I never did that. Oh. Everybody that's ever approached me for a threesome mm-hmm. was a man and a woman mm-hmm. or a butch and a femme. But still, I was always in a relationship, so I just never did that. I never was in a threesome. Hmm. Hmm. Don't. Anyway, I've I've been there and done that. and um, You've done threesomes. Yeah. You want to talk about it? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course you don't. You make me no. spill my beans, spill my tea everywhere. <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right. Lesbian sex is inherently safe, right? STD rates are lower among, um, you know, lesbians. However, that doesn't mean we're completely risk free. You know, there are many ways to have safer sex. Or safer lesbian sex, including, you know, they have latex barriers and dental dams for oral sex uh, and gloves for, you know, your hands hmm. and some other things. So our sex is safe if we don't end up in the ER. <laughs> 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 I remember the first time you and I had sex. Uh-huh. I thought one of us was going to end up in the hospital. <laughs> I could barely, I think I walked sideways for a week after that first time, and you had me hooked. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. serious. I'm done. But I'm again, done. it was straight out of prison sex, because I hadn't had sex in three years. <laughs> straight out of prison sex. <laughs> Not that I was in prison, it's just a, it's just a phrase. Because it had been so long. Oh, I'm serious. You're going to have to stop over there. I'm serious, babe. I'm so serious. All right, so. Can we talk about this next one? Yeah. Do queer women like ass play? K-Town. <laughs> I have to get you out of my ASS all the time. Oh. you either trying to stick something in it, your tongue in it, or your fingers in it. <laughs> Stay out the ass. <laughs> yes, lesbians love. Oh, I have a funny story. I have a funny what? story. Okay. okay. So a friend of mine was a teacher. Mm-hmm. And she, was in, she had to be in the closet at work, of course, because... She was a teacher. And she didn't want to lose her job. Right, well, right. And I'm I'm learning that teachers have to do that, and I hate it. My best friend George, teacher, has to be in the closet at work. I used to go to like picnics with him to act like his, you know, his girlfriend. Yeah. And I'd say, "Honey, are you having baked beans with <laughs> or without loved, onions?" I would have loved to it see was so funny. you and George do that yes. mess. Yes. Oh shit! Go ahead. So. <laughs> My friend that another teacher will, you know, leave her name unmentioned, but she was she knew a 
a t- another teacher coworker that was also a lesbian and O M G she and her partner mm-hmm. i guess she took it up the ass with a dildo what? so many times that she lost um um, control of her bodily functions. That's uh-huh. all I can say about that. Okay? okay. And so she had anal seepage. <laughs> Seriously. What? Seriously. She said, she said, she told my friend, she said, I have to go to the bathroom really, really bad. It was leaking. And she said, we have got to stop doing anal sex with a dildo. Because she lost control of her anal functions. Yes. Right, right, right. And ha- so that in my mind, mm-hmm. I'm always have that in my mind thinking, I can never be in that situation <laughs> ever. <laughs> oh my God. It, it does happen. It does happen. It, it breaks down those muscles that's or right, something. That's right. You can't, it's not like it used to be. So. You are crazy. You know what? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. So the next one. Oh, my goodness. Okay. This is another thing I don't understand. Do we really fist each other? Some do. Yeah, some do. Some do. I have never had. Um, desire. Yeah. Desire to do that or been asked to do that. However, I did have. A friend that was um, got it. caught up some things. Mm. Well, she got caught up in some things. She got sent to prison. Then mm. I seen her years later when she had got out. But she was telling me some of the wild things. Were oh my god! <laughs> um, <laughs> she said, you know, she was, she was, uh, you know, they were having sex in there, you know, in prison. Of course, but, um, gay for the state. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she was asked to do that, and she said she got to where she felt like she was Muhammad Ali. <laughs> <gasps> oh my! She was boxing in there. She was boxing the the vagina. I'm oh Lord! I wish, oh no, no! It says you know fisting is a real thing, and no, if you are communicating and doing it right, it doesn't hurt. It's awesome. I don't believe that for a second. That it <laughs> doesn't hurt, and it's awesome. I don't either. I, don't I mean, either. they've never been with someone as petite as I am <laughs> and have someone the fist of your size. <laughs> I mean, I mean, people love it, you know, and some people are larger than others. So I guess, you know, if you love it, <laughs> keep doing it. <laughs> whatever works, whatever works. <laughs> oh, and, and do and, queer women ever just want to get laid yes 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 we do yes, yes we do i was doing what single people do you that's know, right just you know going out doing my thing it was understood you know that i didn't want to take you to pf chains <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to take you to eat <laughs> You, you know, just want to get laid. That's right. I'm it depends on in yeah. and out, right? <laughs> in and out. I got to go to se. work the next morning. You got to go. You're funny. <laughs> so, Who yeah. shut it down for you, K-Town? You did, honey. You <laughs> shut them all down. <laughs> all right. So this has been a oh my fun gosh. show, honey. Oh, my I love gosh. It. I love it. Thanks for this article, HuffPost. That was awesome. Yeah, it was great. And I want to tell you guys that... Uh, again, I am doing a new show. It's called Mysterious Radio. Please go over to Twitter and find it, Mysterious Radio, and like it and follow me and all that other good stuff. Um, also, again, please visit our website, samesexdialogue.com. You're going to get the best audio over there. And also, you can see who we're going to have on the show next. Uh, you can view our Twitter feed from over there if you like, if you don't have Twitter. Uh, and look at various pictures and interact with us over there as well. Um, Also, go to our Facebook page. Like that, please. And um, if you ever want to ask Kim any questions, please send her an email at KimQuery. That is K-I-M-Q-U-E-E-R-Y at gmail.com. Be you, be true, and be fabulous. All right. I love it, baby. And I want to say before we go, 
I love you. I love you more. See you next time here on Same Sex Dialogue. the end of our show don't you dare leave without going to itunes to subscribe and leave us a five-star review ciao baby